Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg. Thank you for joining us. This channel is dedicated to the Washington Commanders, better known formerly as the Washington Redskins, Washington football team. If you've been a short-time fan, if you've been a long-time fan of this franchise, all are welcome to come here and watch videos on this channel. Uh, all I ask is if you consider supporting this channel by subscribing and then hitting that notification bell so you will know when I release a video. So I tried to release a video yesterday, speaking of, I didn't have any sound, I apologize for that, so I yanked that video and this is going to be the video, um, hopefully for Monday and today. So anyway, I just wanted to recap. Yes, we won on Sunday. We beat an Atlanta Falcons team that was a mirror image of our team, really. I mean, honestly, it was going to be a tale of two teams that were mirror images. Teams that could run the football, teams that could play good defense, and teams that had kind of sort of suspect but decent quarterbacks. And teams that almost had mirror image not quite, but close to mirror image records. Uh, Atlanta came in at five and six. We came in at six and five, and we left at seven and five. But for Atlanta, they they were lucky because uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers lost their game. So Atlanta still has an opportunity to catch up with the Bucks. As for Washington Commanders, they are now in that seventh seed spot for the playoff race. So. If the season ended today, the entire NFC East would be in the playoffs. How cool is that? I mean, I feel like that's the way it should be. The NFC beast is back. And I'm telling you, the NFC East is playing like it should be. You know, you got the Eagles who are playing kind of high-flying type of football. And you've got the Cowboys who they, they tend to play you know, electrifying, run the football, pound the football, get your football to the, your CD lamb and, and guys like that. You got the Giants who run the football, and you got the Commanders who are ground and pound, play good defense, uh, get the ball when you can to Terry McLaurin. So we got a very good <laughs> division, and I'm so excited about that. You know, one thing I want to talk about briefly in this video is the fact that a lot of fans have asked what has happened to Jahan Dotson since Taylor Heineke has came in, and since Dotson has come back, Dotson has disappeared. Well, I think part of that is Taylor Heineke is very comfortable with Taylor uh, with uh, Terry McLaurin, obviously. You know, he's had a lot more experience with Terry McLaurin. He understands that when the game is on the line, you go to McLaurin. And that's very understandable. For Heineke, I think he realizes that a lot is on his shoulders. He's going to go with the guys that he's got good chemistry with. He probably hasn't developed that chemistry with Jahan Dotson, whereas when Carson Wentz was in there, he was getting the ball to Jahan Dotson quite a bit. Dotson was averaging at least one touchdown per game. And so it is a little disappointing. And so a lot of people are already labeling Dotson a bust or a disappointment. And it's like, wait, whoa, pump your brakes. It's way too early for that. You know, things are just, they got to work out like they do, right? If you look at last week's game, McLaurin uh, of the wide receivers, McLaurin was the only one who called a pass. Curtis Samuel didn't even catch a pass. So it's just the way that things worked out. Because that the offense is more of a run-heavy offense right now, like it should be, that you're going to see less production from the wide receiving group as a whole. And so you may have games where you'll have certain receivers who don't catch a pass. That's just kind of how it is right now. Until things develop further, until until Taylor gets a little more comfortable with, with the offense, I think, until things get more solidified, that's how it's going to be. 
it's not saying that you're not going to see Dotson catch a pass. Not at all. You may see Dotson explode and have a huge game here next week. We don't know. But don't give up on the Heineke to Dotson connection just yet. Just give it time. Sometimes this happens. It's just, you know, whenever you have a change of quarterback, you do have certain quarterbacks who develop certain chemistries between wide receivers. And, you know, this just Taylor has had more experience playing with Terry McLaurin than he's had with Jahan Dotson. And quite frankly, Carson Wentz did not have that experience with Terry McLaurin because you got to remember McLaurin set out during training camp. So there wasn't a lot of time for Carson Wentz to develop a lot of chemistry with McLaurin. He developed more, had more time to develop the chemistry with Jahan Dotson than he did with McLaurin. So that's part of the reason why you saw Carson Wentz spreading the ball a little bit more than what you're seeing Taylor Heineke. Now that being said, it is always better to spread the ball when you can. And I think Heineke will, but right now Heineke is going to, to look for his playmakers first. That's just kind of how he is. And so give it time, folks. Right now we're winning and winning is the most important thing in all of this. We beat a strong Atlanta Falcons team. Right now we're going to have another test against the New York Giants. Now keep in mind the Giants have three offensive linemen who are hurt. And so they're going to they're going up against our defensive line who is probably one of the most stout defensive lines in the league right now. And we're getting Chase Young back. I, I know I keep saying that in every single week, <laughs> but I, I promise we're getting Chase Young back. We are. <laughs> so that's just going to, that's going to be big for us. And that's going to make it things very difficult for the Giants. You know, this is going to give the commanders a lot of opportunities to stop the Giants. The Giants are going to have to rely heavily on Barkley. Sanquan Barkley is going to have to have a big game against the Commanders in order for the Giants to beat the Commanders. I really think that. Uh, because <clears throat> if the Commanders shut down the running game, it's going to be a long day for the Giants. I really believe that. We can talk about this more as, as the week progresses. But I'll, I'll just end this video by saying that the Washington Commanders are turning into a solid team, a solid playoff team. And I think that you're going to continue to see this team performing at a much higher level in each game. You're starting to see them cleaning up certain mistakes that they had before. You're starting to see the defense just playing more stout defense. You're seeing the secondary playing better. I mean, everybody is stepping it up. And they're stepping up even further every single game because they're believing in themselves. And overall, that is the most important thing that you can say for this team. They're believing in themselves. And that's a very dangerous thing for uh, their opponents. Uh, so let me know in the comments section what you think. I can tell you what I think. Left hand up, baby. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.